These are dahlia tubers, and this is what they look like when they come out of the cooler in the spring. They're sort of like a tulip bulb, only we call them tubers, and in this little area is where they will start to grow. Um, sometimes you can see what's called an eye, and that's the growth area. And um, you can see this is the stem from last year's flower. And we put these in the floral cooler at about 35 or 40 degrees. If you don't have a cooler like that, um, you can put them possibly in your garage, but you don't want them to freeze or in a crawl space or in a very cool area of the basement. Overwintering them is tough because um, if they're too warm, they can get a fungus and rot or if they're too cold, they could freeze. Sometimes they'll dry out, so they kind of need the perfect conditions to overwinter. But if you're lucky, uh, you'll get them looking like this in the spring, and then you can plant them in pots indoors in April or so, or you can wait until mid-May and plant them outdoors. These dahlias were planted in pots in the greenhouse and you can see some of them have popped up and grown quite nicely. Some of them aren't doing so well. That's pretty much par for the course. Sometimes they just do not overwinter well as tubers, but uh, we always get enough to plant. And here at Applewood, we put some of them in these dahlia boxes. This was typical of when Mrs. Mott was alive, and even when Mr. Mott was alive, we have pictures dating back to the 1930s, 1940s of these dahlia boxes, and they kept them around the swimming pool on the back lawn. 